This was a full-on museum quality restoration. This is something that's unprecedented in film history. The original flux capacitor is the one. It was almost unbelievable that something so old can come back from the dead. <laughs> it's alive! The amount of work that We're checking out scenes from a documentary about the restoration of the original Back to the Future time machine, which had fallen into disrepair but is now as beautiful and shiny as ever. The film is called Out of Time, Saving the DeLorean Time Machine, and it was produced by a guy who grew up here and graduated from McGuanago High School. That guy is Steve Concatelli, and he's back home from Los Angeles visiting, spending a few minutes with us. Great to see you, Steve. It's great to be here. In the interest of full disclosure, Steve once interned here at TMJ42 a few I, years ago. I did. When I was in college, I interned here in the newsroom, and I spent the summer cleaning out the tape vault upstairs by the commissary. I'm going to check when I'm done to make sure you guys have been keeping it up. We have neither the tapes nor the commissary. <laughs> anymore. But glad you're back. Uh, tell us a little bit about the project and uh, we're going to show some pictures of what the, the disrepair really yes. that this famous movie vehicle had fallen into uh, and then this passionate effort to restore it. Yes. Uh, over the years the car had been left out in Universal Studios back lot in Los Angeles and it became a very popular tourist attraction and as such Fans would climb in it, you know, grab pieces yeah. off of it, and, and it fell into disrepair right there is a good shot. A lot of the pieces off the back had been taken off by fans. A lot of the interior pieces, the flux capacitor was missing, and, and a lot of... Sacrilege. Uh, yeah, very much so. The team right there, that's not what fans did. That's in the middle of the restoration where when the restoration team got it, they took all the pieces off, completely restored it from the ground up as only a group of dedicated fans could. So how did you turn that into a film? I mean, what's the story that you wanted to tell? Well, the story was that this was a story that most Back to the Future fans had never heard. You know, the time machine is the most famous car in movie history, yet nobody knew the actual real-life history of what had happened to this yeah. car. And so when I was uh, had the opportunity to be on the team, you know, I said, well, I have to make this a story. I have to turn this into a film because Back to the Future fans around the world will want to see this. Well, these, ex these experts who restore the car are good at what they did, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're good uh, production, that they're good <laughs> television or, go, or a good film. How did you uh, help develop them as characters? Well, it's very true. The guys who were on the restoration team, led by Joe Walser, they were a group of, uh, of fans first. They yeah. weren't professional on-camera people being interviewed. Right. And it was just a lot of, it was a lot like the restoration, trial and error, working with them to get them comfortable enough to tell their story. And once they felt, you know, they were in the groove, they told an amazing story. And you had the full blessing of Universal with this. Some of the folks involved directly with the film uh, really took to your project. Yes. Uh, you know, growing up here in Milwaukee, I saw Back to the Future, you know, in Waukesha, and I never dreamed that someday I would be this <laughs> close to it. In fact, there's me, uh, there's a picture of me in the documentary. But I got a chance to, when I moved out there, to work with the people who actually made Back to the Future. So Bob Gale, the people at Universal Studios, interviewing some of the crew who built the real DeLorean. And uh, as a fan, you know, coming from a small town, it was extremely surreal. Well, it's amazing, and I hope more people will go ahead and pick up the film. Steve, great to see you. Great to be back. For more information on the project and how to view the documentary, you can check out a link on our website. We've got it posted there right now. It's up at TMJ4.com.